Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. This is Satya Sai Shivaram Krishna, a very lengthy name, means tough child, I know. An ex Amazonian with a painful ex story and an instructor from the last two years. Today, I want to present you a small, sweet, nanny, munni, piari C course. So, first, let me explain the content and then we'll go over the details of the course. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get started! Little hyper excited? Alright, let us start. Now, tell me this. When you're born, will you directly start running or will you first take baby steps? Baby steps, right? In the same way, when you're first trying to learn a language, we'll first take baby steps. We'll write our very first Hello World program. Followed by you learn what is data, how to store data, what are types of data we can store, how to read data, how to write data, how to manipulate data, how to perform operations on data, how to extract useful information using conditions, how to iterate on the data using loops. We'll learn all these things. Followed by we'll learn pattern printing. As the name suggests, you'll print a pattern using loops. Now we'll start with arrays. In simple terms, arrays is nothing but when we want to store a set of data points of same kind, then we'll use arrays. In arrays, there are a lot of types. There is one dimensional arrays, there are two dimensional arrays, and there are multi-dimensional arrays as well. Once we are done with this, we'll also do pattern printing with arrays. So we can also do 2D pattern printing and 3D pattern printing and a lot of other jugads. Once this is done, we'll jump into my personal favorite that is nothing but importance of constraints. Let me give you a scenario. How many times this scenario happened to you where you wrote a program and the logic is correct, everything is correct and when you submit it, out of nowhere, you're getting wrong answer. You will try to debug it for some time, you're still getting wrong answer. And it feels like God is personally taking revenge on you. You'll debug for one hour, for two hours, for three hours. Still, you won't get it. Now, you'll start abuses. Now, let us say the abuse order. First, you will abuse the question. Then, you'll abuse the test cases. Third, we'll abuse the platform. Once the entire problem is debugged by you, now you'll start abusing yourself. Hannah, this is entire software engineer cycle of anyone. How to reduce the cycle, to reduce the number of abuses, all you have to do is understand what are data types like this. I won't say this will solve all your problems, but this will solve a lot of problems. We'll do a very small project, tic-tac-toe. Once the above thing is done, now we'll start with functions. In simple words, functions is nothing but, say you have a couple of lines of code and say you want to reuse it. One way is you can once again write the entire lines of code again and again or keep this lines of code in a block and use this block wherever you want. This is the whole idea of functions. We'll learn how to pass parameters to the functions, how to pass your arrays and this is where you'll learn for your very first time what is the difference between pass by reference and pass by value. Once this is done, you'll start with strings, what are strings, how to read input data for strings, how to write strings and how to pass information with strings. Followed by a small mini project. Whenever you used to, when we sign in for the very first time, you give your email address, you also write your password. When you write a password, it says it is a weak password, it says it is a strong password or a, a medium password, right? How is it doing it? Hannah? It is simple with couple of conditions. So we'll see how to write our own password checker. Now. We are entering into the first nightmare of any student. What is that? When you'll try to learn a language, right? With a humongous hope, and then you'll all of a sudden see this thing. Vectors, maps. Sets, hash set. Tree maps, tree sets. Vector of pairs, hash map of vectors, all kinds of things. The moment you see these things, barbar, dhai puri interest baad mein. So to make sure your interest is not going, we will do from the very basics to the very advanced on how to use each and every one of them. And we'll also learn a couple of math inbuilt libraries. Main, max, GCD, power functions, all of them. And the most important of all, sort function. And there's one more small jugad in that, that is comparator. And how to overwrite the comparator. That's a very, very, very interesting, once again, a very interesting concept. We'll learn about that. And the last nightmare of any student, pointers. 
pointers. Why God? Why? है ना? When, whenever we get this pointers questions in our question paper. Inky pinky ponky, father as a donkey, donkey die, father cry, inky pinky ponky, correct. You will mark something. That is how we will mark, right? Turns out, pointers are actually not that complex. It is one of the most intuitive topics of all time. You will enjoy pointers like anything once you actually enjoy the core concept of pointers. So we will we'll also do that from the very scratch and we will close the entire content with user defined data types. In simple words, they gave you data types, you don't like them, so screw them, we will create our own. This is the entire content which we are going to cover in our course. Now that you know what all things I am going to cover, let me explain you how I am going to cover. The entire sessions are going to be hybrid. Part of session, when I want to explain things, I will explain it on a whiteboard. And the other part, when I want to write the codes, I will explain it on the editor. It will be a hybrid set of sessions. And take a guess of how many sessions we are going to have. 10, mm, not even close. 15, close it. The actual sessions are 10, 10, 10, 50. Ha huh, sir, 50 sessions for just C++? The reason why we are taking these many sessions is, each session is only of 15 minutes. Sir, why not, why not extend it? Huh, because for an engineering student, to watch an educational YouTube video, of more than 15 minutes is like asking his entire property. Not possible. Watching a movie, hours and hours, Netflix, that is possible. But then 15 minute YouTube video, oh my God, definitely not possible. Hannah, so that's why to make sure your interest doesn't go down, we are keeping the videos short and sweet, not more than 15 minutes. Now that you know how we are going to cover the content and all the above thing is fine. But why should you watch our videos? Huh? Go to YouTube, click on Introductory to C++. You'll get tons of videos. Go to Google, click on Introductory to C++. You'll get tons of resources. Then why us? Because we follow a very simple rule, guys. We teach the way we want to be taught. And the way we want to be taught has to be one of the most simplified ways of all time. That means this entire course will be one of the most simplified course. That is a promise from our side. How can you get the best of this entire course? It's very simple. All you have to do is attend the daily sessions, guys. Daily, we'll post our recorded video at 5 p.m. sharp. Watch the video for 15 minutes and then solve the two assignments problem with that for 20 more minutes. Daily, spend 30 minutes, 30 to 40, you're done. By the end of this course, you'll be very good with the C++. We'll, we are st you'll start at the very basics and you'll go till a very good point. Now, if you like the entire Evo content, please do like, share and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you all in my all the sessions. Take care, keep smiling. Bye guys.